Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create um, a policy for iOS devices, an Intune policy for iOS devices. So I'm going to show you step by step. Let's get started. I'm going to mind this screen. So what you need to do is once you log into Office 365 Admin Center, just click on the Admin Center and then device management under device management go to device compliant and then go to policy create policy Let's give it a name. I'm call this iOS device compliant policy. Oops. Did I lose it? All right, let's try again. Oh, okay, right here. So The description, I'm just going to copy this and paste. Platform, I'm going to choose iOS. Under configurations, I'm sorry, under settings, you go to email settings. Required. So in this case, we're going to require a mail an email profiles that mean if the if email profile doesn't exist under the device the device will not be compliance I'm gonna click on require and okay device health I'm gonna block all jailbroken devices the device threat levels I'm not going to configure this one click OK device properties I'm not going to configure the minimum OS although you could configure the minimum and the um, or maximum operating system of the device and then under system security <clears throat> I'm going to enable require a password to block mobile devices. Simple password. I'm going to block simple password. Simple password mean one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. Minimum password length. I'm going to change this to six. Require password. I'm going to choose alphanumeric. So that means letters and number. None of none alphanumeric shows password. None of none alpha numeric cast in password. I'm not going to configure that. Maximum not, maximum minutes after screen lock before password is required. I'm going to do immediately. Maximum minutes after inact, inactive until screen is locked. I'm going to configure maybe I'm just going to configure it immediately. Password expiration. See, by default, it's 41. Number of previous password to prevent use. I'm going to put, so by default, it's 5. I'm going to put 5. Microsoft suggested. I'm going to click OK. 
and then click OK and click create once you created the policy you can deploy it I'm going to deploy it by click on assignment select groups I'm going to put all users so this will affect all users who has iOS devices but if you are doing testing I suggest create a, um, or you know select the uh, pilot users or pilot groups and you can exclude any groups you want to exclude just go to exclude tab here and then enter the email address of the people or you can select the group to exclude All right, so in this case, it's going to affect all users. So really, really, really be careful with this. Um, you want to make sure you communicate to the users. Um, so that means the devices will need to be compliant. I'm going to click Save. And that's it. That's, a, you, that's how you create a compliance policy and deploy to your users using Intune. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. My channel will cover Office 365, Azure, Intune, SCCM, or Configuration Manager, anything related to Office deployment, Microsoft uh, software deployment, Windows 10 deployment. It's all covered in my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.